<laughs> Welcome to Gutsy's Garage. Have a good sneak peek. <laughs> <laughs> but don't get distracted. We're talking about lubrication today and not KY jelly. We're talking about lubrication for your motor. Why do I do my own servicing? A, I live in a remote uh, coastal town called Malakuta. Yes, we have uh, outboard service. We don't get warranty due to being commercial as much. I, think, I know that it's getting better. Plus, I need it done yesterday and it's cheaper and I just do it myself. So oil has an important job at taking away all the heat and everything away from all the important parts. And it's doing all the hard behind the scenes work that all the cooling water can't get to. Salt water, impurities, all sorts of nasty stuff gets in the oil. That's why we need to keep doing oil changes. Uh, also fuel can also pollute the, your oil supply. It leaves acidic combustion byproducts in your crankcase. We'll chew out your white metals and your bearings. Once the hardening rubs off, there goes your protection. So you ask, how often do you want, would you do this? You're probably asking the wrong person, but we try to do it every 100 hours or whenever it bips up up there, but go to your manufacturer. But every 100 hours is usually the go-to. So let's talk about your oil filters. They're cheap, they're expendable, they're screw on, screw off. It's a simple, it's a simple, simple job. Every 100 hours, you change the oil, you change the filter, simple takes all the foreign bodies and all the nasty stuff out of it. They're a good little insurance policy, but don't count on them long term. I personally don't change them every time, every second time for me, because I'm using my vessel all the time. Marine engine oil is more expensive than un other engine oils, and this is why. Think about the shitty environment they live in. Currently, Melbourne lockdown. <laughs> Corrosion, oxidization, moisture, and abuse from me. 1,000 revs, 6,000 revs, fluctuating temperatures, they're in and out of the water, guilty. You name it, outboard motors do it. That oil is dealing with all the pollutions, especially within a tired engine too, such as these. They're for sale too on eBay, later on the Savo, don't buy them. <laughs> to make it even harder, once the engine doesn't sit like this, it sits like this. So the oil has to find all its way up to the top to make sure it looks after the vertical challenge motor. So. Outboard oils are mixed with uh, anti-corrosive additives, anti-wear as well, and anti-foaming agents for sustained high RPM, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> Some people use Pedrite, other people use Castrol. Me, myself, personally, I use Captain Morwood. <laughs> and every now and then, I need a good dollop. Now, gearboxes are another story. We're in and out all that time like I can, like a brothel on New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Probably four or five hundred times a day. I know because I can hear my deck hand grinding my gears when I'm on the bottom. <laughs> We've got a bit of a problem here. So it's either one of two things. I've got fishing line problem and the, and the uh, prop shaft seal is damaged or I have a sump plug problem where the seal, uh, the sump plug seal is perished and letting water in. So I actually use a weed sprayer converted with a three quarter turn bull joint and a uh, eight mil dive hose spear for a, uh, a male spear. If anyone uh, is wondering why you fill from the bottom or the top is because if you fill from the bottom, it pushes all the air out and it, the, the whole gearbox is filled with oil, not air. The goal is keep the water out, do regular inspections. Honda, mate. Red Ronda, you can't go wrong. I don't know, a bit of a uh, old school fetish, you know. Let's go to the CR wall while we're at it. So I've got a, I've got a hard on for 95 CRs. Most of my bikes that I collect are to do with my childhood and my mates had them or I've had them and just current models that I love. I don't know, they make me happy. I like looking at them, I'm sure everyone else does too. The top one, 95, 95 man, like this is the year of purple and fucking colours and Jeremy McGrath. Like who, who, who doesn't love a, a 95 is basically in my opinion the holy grail of dirt bikes. Um, that's why I've got them in every model other than the 500. But um, like I said, if anyone's got one, hit me up. So the oil filters from outboard spares, oh, 
people say to you, if it's not genuine, and I know about genuine, it ain't real. Uh, I wouldn't be using them if they weren't as good as OME. These guys have gone in and gone really hard and to make sure that this product is as good as it can be at an affordable price for everyday blue collar guy. Um, that's why we use them, that's why I use them. I'm out there a lot more than anyone else and I highly would not recommend anything else but output, output spares. Unless you wanna go and buy genuine, that's fine. It's a hog, it's American, it's great.